All right. Um, this is uh, the last problem on uh, assignment 5.04. I started to do this for period uh, three and promised them I would finish this on a video because it is a little challenging to do this. So uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and do this one problem on a single uh, video and I'll put that up and I'm putting that up for you. Okay, so I've got my six inch line and I break it into fourths. So it's uh, one and a half inches, three inches, four and a half and six. There it is. And it's in degrees. So I'm going to scale it in degrees here. So it's um, zero, 90, 180, 270, and 360. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I see this is something you kind of learn to interpret how to do your graph. And you always scale a graph anytime you're graphing based on what numbers you're working with. So here I see a couple things about the numbers here. Let's review, this is how tall the graph is gonna be. From its center axis, the axis going this way, usually that's the x-axis, it's gonna be two above and two below. It's making the, it's making the graph taller. This is shifting it, and since it's a plus sign, it's shifting it to the left. So I'm going to add something here in just a second because of that. And this is shifting it as well. It's shifting it up. It's making it go up. So let's look at a couple of things. Let's do the y-axis first. It's going, to, it's going to go from 2 to negative 2. That's what this does. It makes it taller. So instead of going from 1 to negative 1, from 1 to negative 1, it's going to go from 2 to negative 2. And since it's gonna be shifted up, that's gonna change that again. It's gonna go not from two, but from three because it's gonna move up and it's gonna go from three down to negative one. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is negative one, negative two, negative three. This is zero and this is one, two, and three. So let me say again what I just said. Normally, a, a cosine would be go from one to negative one. That's normal cosine. This one is being multiplied the height by two, so it's going to go from two to negative two. But then now it's, that's not it, that's not the final answer here. It's getting getting shifted up one. So it's going to the top from the top to the bottom is going to be from two to negative two. That's going to be a four. That's a distance of four. One, two, three, four. And now that's getting shifted up one. So it's actually gonna go from three, one, two, three, four to negative one. So that's gonna be the range that the graph is gonna be within. The top of the graph is gonna be at three. The bottom of the graph is gonna be at negative one. Again, because it's gonna be two means it's too high and, two, and negative two low. That's four total from two to negative two. So one, two, three, four, and it's shifted up one. So from three to one, uh, past zero into negative one. So if it shifted up one, that means our new x-axis is actually going to be up here at one. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a dashed line to represent that. There it is. So the graph's going to be centered there, not there, because it was shifted up one. All right, and it's going to its highest point is going to be at three. So I'm going to go up and draw a light dashed line up there, and down to neg and down to negative one. Okay. So this is the center line. It goes up two above this from one up to three and two up below this from one down to negative one. So that's the center line. So we've kind of taken care of this, how tall it is and where it's centered around. This is the only one that's a little tricky. It's 45. Since it's plus 45, it means it's gonna to shift to the left. This has to do with the sideways shift, the lateral shift. And remember, it always seems backwards. Plus 45 means 45 in the negative direction, 45 backwards. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take these markings that I've made here and I'm going to cut them in half to make them 45s. So this is an inch and a half. Half of one and a half inches is three fourths of an inch. So one, two, three fourths is right there. That's going to be 45 degrees. Okay, if I go one, two, three fourths right there, that's 135 degrees. From here, one, two, three, four, that's um, 225 degrees. And from here, one, two, three, what I'm counting is these lines that make a quarter inch right there. And if you look, they, you can see they're exactly halfway. Between this, that's halfway. Between these two, that's halfway. Between these two, that's halfway. 
come between these two, that's halfway. So let me label those. 4590, then another 45 is 135, then another 45 is 180, another 45 is 225, another 45 to 270, and another 45 to 315. So I've just increased the number of markings. I have twice as many markings now. But we said this is going to move it to the left by 45. So I'm going to add one more over here. It's another 3 quarters of an inch from 0. It takes me right to the edge of the paper. I could have put my line in a better place, but it's okay. It's good enough. And there's 3 quarters of an inch right there. Okay, so this is negative 45. In other words, on the unit circle, what negative 45 means is you'd start from here and instead of going forward, you go backwards and you go down to 315. That's negative 45 degrees. 360 minus 315 is 45. So that's a rep called a reference angle of 45 degrees, but in the back, but backwards. Okay, so so there we go. It goes right there. Okay, so that was a lot of work to do, um, but what I'm going to do now is sketch a normal cosine of 2 theta plus 1. I'm going to, just so we see where that would be. Okay, so, and you don't have to do this, but it gives you a reference. So cosine always starts above the axis, and this one is, normally it's 1, but this one's multiplied by 2, so it's going to start here. And it is going to make, um, that should be 360, by the way. And it's going to make one cycle um, because there's no number here. So it doesn't make two cycles or three cycles within 360 degrees. So it's going to start here. It's going to end here. It's going to be at negative two. Um, it's going to be two down right here. This is right in the middle of the graph right here. So that's two down. Okay, um, so it's two down here, it's two up here, right here halfway, it's gonna be at zero. But remember zero, we have we added to make a one to it, to put it there. So this is our new zero line, in other words, but it's really at one because we've added it. Okay, so it's gonna go at, across at 90 degrees and at 270, it's gonna do the same thing. And we're gonna sketch it like this. that so that is what this is is the following it's 2 cosine theta plus 1 okay so it goes it, it's too tall it's 4 tall 2 up and 2 down that's the 2 and it's shifted up by 1 so this is now the center axis what about this part though okay now we're going to do that on our new line and what that means is everything is going to shift back this way, this distance. back. So this is going to go from 0 back to negative 45, so I'm going to put that there. Okay, this is going to shift from 90 back to 45 right there. This is going to shift from 180 back to 135 right there. Um, this will shift from 270 back to 225 that's minus 45 and this will shift from 360 back to 315 right there and I'm going to do this as a dashed line so you can tell the difference so it's going to come down so it came a little too quick there Okay, and this is our final answer. The dashed line, the dashed line right there, that's our final answer of 2 cosine theta plus 45 degrees plus 1. All right, so it's shifted up 1. It's twice as tall as a normal cosine, and it's shifted back to the left 45 degrees. So you just have to find a series of points these two, these two, these two, and these two that shift 
this way 45 degrees. All right, and that's how you do that problem. That's a challenging problem, but if you practice it a few times, uh, it starts to make sense. Okay, so that takes care of that. That's the answer to the very last problem on assignment 4.05. Merry Christmas or whatever you celebrate. Have a happy new year and be in touch with me if there's anything you need, okay? Bye-bye.